are the peace in my troubled sea. Whoa, oh, you are the peace in my troubled sea. In the silence, you won't let go. In the questions, your truth will hold. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Whoa, oh, you are the peace in my troubled sea. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, shining in the darkness, I will follow you. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, I will trust the promise. You will carry me. To show, oh, say to show, oh, say to show, oh, say to show. I won't fear what tomorrow brings. With each morning, I'll rise and sing. My God's love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Whoa, oh, you are the peace in my troubled sea. Yes, you are. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, shining in the darkness. I will follow you. Oh, my lighthouse, my lighthouse, I will trust the promise. You will carry me. To show, oh, say to show, oh, say to show, oh, say to show. Fire before us, you're the brightest. You will lead us through the storms. Fire before us, you're the brightest. You will lead us through the storms My lighthouse, my lighthouse Shining in the darkness, I will follow you My lighthouse, my lighthouse and I will trust the promise You will carry me safe to show whoa, whoa, whoa. Safe to show whoa, whoa. Hey guys, welcome to Online Family Worship this week. It's so great that you have joined us. And I was wondering, what has your week been like? With restrictions easing, have you maybe been able to go into someone's house or seen someone you haven't seen in a really long time? Why don't you tell your grown up now or tell your grown up what the best part of that was? Well guys, I hope you had an awesome week. We are going to be celebrating Pentecost today. And if you're wondering, what is that all about? We're going to have Mark, our senior pastor here at St. Paul's, come and chat to us about that today. So stay tuned and you're gonna be able to find out more about that. But for now, why don't you jump up off your sofa and let's sing some songs. But let's pray first. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you that we are here today. We thank you that restrictions are easing and that we're able to see more friends and family. We ask you to please open our hearts and our ears now to hear what you have to say to us. We love you so much. Amen.
It's so nice to see you. Oh, don't lick me. It feels like ages since we last went for a dog walk. I know. It's, it's been so nice and warm now, though. Plus, we can go to your house now, or, like, we can go to the theatre. I know, it's so fun. You know what? Last weekend, I went to Thorpe Park, and I went on all of the big rides, and it was kind of scary. Oh, really? Was it actually, like, really scary? Mm, maybe a bit scary, but I was having so much fun. I didn't know when I was upside down or spinning round and round. I was actually more scared I was going to miss my train home. Ah, that's and, funny. Uh, maybe, can I come with you next time? Do they let dogs on the ride? <laughs> Ruffy, I don't think you'd be tall enough for the rides. You might get all your fur caught on oh. it. That'd be awful. You know what? Oh. What scares you though, Ruffy? Do rides scare you? Uh, well... I think I probably mostly get scared when big dogs run up to me or when uh, or when there's like really loud thunder and it goes boom. Oh yeah, that is scary, oh. Ruffy, isn't it? I get a bit scared in thunderstorms. You know what, when I was little, I used to be really, really scared of monsters in my room. I think they were under the bed and everywhere. It was so scary. But you know what? I prayed with my parents that I wouldn't be so scared and it didn't feel scary anymore. Wow. Well. Let me tell you a secret. When I, when me, Colin, and Zuma get scared, um, we actually talk to God and each other about it. Oh, that's so nice. Mm. It's good to do. Well, that sounds like fun, Ruffy. And you know what? Now we're allowed to go to the cinema. Maybe we could do a trip together. Oh my days! That'd be so cool. I love the cinema, but um, I only really like doggy treats rather than popcorn. Oh, okay, well, Ruffy, I'll get you a bone to munch on when we go to the cinema. Oh, that sounds so good. Yeah. Can we, we watch our video now? Yeah. Should we watch our yeah. side of back video? Yeah. Let's right, go. The... Stories of the Bible. God sends the Holy Spirit. These are the apostles. Hello. They followed Jesus during his time on earth. Before Jesus went to heaven, he told them to stay in Jerusalem until God sent the gift he promised. See ya! So after Jesus went to heaven, the apostles stayed in Jerusalem along with the other people who believed in Jesus. One day they were all gathered together when there was a sound from heaven like a mighty windstorm. Whoa! Then what looked like flames appeared and settled on each of them, and everyone was filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gave them the ability to speak in other languages, and so they started speaking. At that time, there were devout Jews from every nation living in Jerusalem. When they heard the loud noise, they came running to see what it was. What's going on? When they saw the believers speaking in their own languages, they were shocked and amazed. Hey, Jesus! They wondered, how can this be? These people are from Galilee, and yet we hear them speaking in our own native languages about the wonderful things God has done. What can this mean? Nah, whatever. But others in the crowd didn't believe that it was really a miracle and thought the believers were just acting oddly. <laughs> Then Peter stepped forward and shouted to the crowd. Hey, all you! Listen carefully, all you. He told them that they were not acting strangely, but that this was from God. He reminded them that God said this would happen long ago. Then Peter told them about how Jesus was crucified, but then raised to life again, just as God had said he would be. He told them that Jesus was now in heaven and that God had given the Holy Spirit to them as he had promised. Peter's words changed what the people thought and felt, and they asked, Brothers, what should we do? Peter told them, Each of you must repent of your sins and turn to God and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. Then you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. 
Wow! Peter continued to preach to the crowd for a long time, and those who believed what Peter said were baptized. 3,000 people were baptized and added to the church that day. Then all the believers listened to the apostles' teaching and practiced what they taught. Hey! They met together in fellowship, shared meals, and prayed together. They were amazed as the apostles performed many miraculous signs and wonders. All the believers met together in one place and shared everything they had. Here you go. Take this. Ah, oh, thank you. They helped those in need. Here, this is for you. Thank you. Worshiped together at the temple every day, met in homes for the Lord's Supper, and shared their meals with great joy all while praising God and enjoying each other. And each day, God added to their fellowship those who were being saved. Hello boys and girls, my name is Mark and I work amongst the churches and uh, today's a really special day for the church and so your pastor Lucy or Tamlin or Olivia have asked that I might be able to share for a few moments. Why share today? Well today is the birthday of the church. I don't know about you but I love birthdays. I just had a birthday and um, I got lots of special presents on my birthday but I also got some very special cards. Lots of people write amusing cards. Here's my favorite card. It was from my granddaughter. She's three years old and she wrote me a card and she wrote it to her papa and she would put lots of stickers all over it because she loves stickers. And so I keep that on my mantelpiece to remind myself of how special she is. Well, today is the birthday of the church. Today is the day that God sent us not just a card, but he sent us a present. And this is how the church, this is how the Bible describes it. It says all the disciples were together in a room, waiting for this gift that, the, that was promised by Jesus, this helper that was to come. And they were feeling, we can't do much without this helper. And it says that while they were in the room, suddenly there was this sound like the rushing of a wind and the rushing of a wind took over the sound of the room. So they all sat up and noticed what is going on? What is this sound that is coming in the room? And then as they looked around, this is what they saw. They saw it described as little flames that came upon them. We all have candles on our birthdays, don't we? But on the birthday of the church, the little flames came on each and every one of them. No one was hurt, didn't hurt them, but it was a sign that the gift of a helper was being given to them. And so the gift of the helper was given to each of the followers then, and then they, having received the gift of the helper, they went out and they told other people about Jesus, and each and every one that was told about Jesus got the gift of this helper as well, the gift of the Holy Spirit. And that gift of the helper is available to you and to me as well today. And I always ask for the Holy Spirit to come and fill me, to help me, to be the person that God wants me to be. And you know, if we ask, the Holy Spirit can come on each and every one of us. Have you ever felt alone? Have you ever felt lonely? You never need feel lonely if you have Jesus as your friend. And with Jesus as your friend, this is, what you, this is what happens when you invite Jesus to come and live in your life, then the Holy Spirit comes. And the Holy Spirit will come and fill you and it will be like something warm and friendly inside you. And it'll help you to tell others about Jesus. And I'd love to pray today that like Jesus gave the gift of the Holy Spirit on that first birthday of the church, that today on today's birthday of the church, I'd love to pray for us to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. So just with me for a few moments, would you be prepared to open your hands and put them on your lap and maybe close your eyes and let me pray for the Holy Spirit to come upon us. Holy Spirit, would you come? Would you fill us today? Fill each and every child and me 
and our pastors, Tamlin and Lucy and Olivia, would you fill them with your gift, Lord? Would you fill each and every helper in each and every children's group that today we would know your goodness and grace? So come and fill us. And just in your heart now, pray. Just say, come Holy Spirit, fill me today with your goodness. That I would always know Jesus as my friend. And we pray it in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Thank you, boys and girls. Thank you for listening. And I really hope you have fun talking about this today. The birthday of the church and the gift of the Holy Spirit to all of us. Okay guys, so it's memory verse time, and because it's Pentecost, we have a new memory verse, all right? It comes from Acts 2, verse 4a, so that's like the little first bit, okay? And it goes like this, and all of them were filled with the Holy Spirit, okay? Can you say it back at me? And all of them were filled with the Holy Spirit, okay? So we can remember it, I thought we could all hold up our hand like that, wave it around at the camera, there you go, or the TV, and for each finger on our hand, I think we could pray for someone we know to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Yeah, so I'm going to pray for my first person, for my sister to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Okay, so it just goes like this. Dear God, I pray for my sister, Harriet, that she would be filled with the Holy Spirit now. Amen. Okay, so you can go across your hand and pray for five different people or ten or even use your toes. Okay, enjoy. You stand eternal, the uncreated one who knows no end. The starry wonders, the vast expanses bow to your command. You shine like a million suns ablaze, wrapped in eternal light and praise. Jesus, the first, the last, the bright, the morning star. creation into existence life and know we are I want to go where you lead me when I walk I want to do I want to say the words that you say when I talk So everyone would know that I believe in you, believe in you But
to hear from Mark and find out all about Pentecost. So guys, this is your last week of school before half term and we really hope you have a wonderful week. Just to tell you that this is the last week of life groups before half term for year five and six. We also have Bump to Baby, which is our baby and parent group on Wednesday morning, which we'd love for you to join if that is your child's that age. And then the last thing is that tomorrow night we are having an online safety information evening, which we are going to be telling parents and it's, we have a guest speaker coming in who's going to be telling us how to keep our children safe online. So please do sign up for that online. It's, at, it's on Zoom at 8 p.m. So we hope to see you there. Okay, bye guys, have a good week.